How you going? Hey, you going, guys? Welcome back to another day with me. I feel sorry for you, honestly. Nah, I don't know. Um, today we are doing leg day. Do I want to do it? Absolutely friggin' not. But we have to, man. Or woman. <laughs> That's the thing, is that I did say that uh, every two up body days I need to do a leg day. We're trying to keep the frequency and consistency up because I tell you what guys, frequency and consistency... Oh, sorry. Had to do it. Uh, frequency, uh, fre you know what I'm saying, frequency and consistency are key for massive adaptation uh, guarantee, I guess you could call it. Uh, a lot of people sit there and they think, why am I not gaining? Why am I not um, getting stronger? Uh, why am I not getting faster? Why am I not getting more uh, powerful, shredded, blah, 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 all of that stuff. Why aren't they getting their goals? And it's because honestly, they're not being consistent and they're not being frequent enough. So for, for, uh, a stimuli, uh, for stimuli to cause adaptation, they need to be frequent and they need to be consistent. If those two things are missed, whatever stimuli you are doing to your body, whatever stimulation you're doing to your body, or whatever signals you're giving to your body to create that adaptation, they're just gonna not work. They're gonna work a little, but nowhere near enough for you to notice significant change or progression. You need to make sure that you are those two things, because otherwise you're just not gonna get there. So for me, a big decision for me while doing these vlogs was, look Matt, you are filming yourself now, you're gonna be a, kept accountable in a weird way, even if it's to yourself, that these people are expecting a leg day every two upper body days. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. So either way, that little weird little ranty tip is done. Uh, yep, leg day, it's fucking hot. And I am emphasizing that because it is hot today. Uh, it's just an oven in the gym a bit. The fans are actually going pretty good, but it's still hot. And uh, I'm in early, which isn't usually an ideal thing for me. For energy because I, I my energy peaks a little bit later in the day but it's all right we'll see how we go I'm just gonna smash out a shitload of pendulum squat because that cooked me last time but in a good way I might even try to start with that after I've warmed up my body just start real light and then get heavier and then start filming the heavier sets obviously so I'll try and do a good four working set so I can say it was substantial enough uh, and then I'll just do some isolates I know it's not a massive session today guys I do apologize um, but it's uh yeah, I'm cooked. I got six and a half hours sleep last night, which is a shame because I was editing really late. I've really got to time manage a bit better, guys. Um, but, you know, we're still getting it done. So, yeah, pendulum squat and isolates and a bit of cheeky carbs at the end because I need to smash those more. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's the plan. So, without further ado, I'm going to smash this raise can and we are going to jump on in. Just did a little bit of a warm up, uh, just doing uh, no plates. Uh, just smashing out some volume, just a bit of reps, just around 20 or whatever. First one, I went really slow and for only like 10 to 15, just to really get the muscles firing. I tend to have a lot of trouble with getting my left uh, vastus heads to fire off, specifically the lateralis, which is the outer sweep. It just has some issues. I swear I've got some issues with my nerves down my left side of my body, but I'm trying not to focus on that as a real disabling problem uh, just as a thing that I have to work around because as soon as you start believing it's going to disable you you're probably going to become disabled when it comes to those areas of your body's function. So the more you think of an injury or an issue or a problem as a, you know, just something to work around, the better. It's just you're going to have a lot more longevity in you if you do. Okay, let's smash out these. This is going to be uh, pretty grueling, but I need to get it done. So I'm probably going to focus on four working sets um, and then um, some isolates just so I can feel like my legs have actually been burnt out and have uh, received the stimuli for growth. Okay, let's do it, guys.
Oh. Okay, that's set one done. It wasn't actually terrible. I may chuck on my knee sleeves though, because yeah, it's funny, it's at the bottom of those reps that you really feel it. I uh, was coming down and I was like, hey, that's not too bad. And then as soon as I hit the bottom and bounced out of it, I felt the jolt in my knees. I was like, oh, okay, there it is. Okay, so uh, let's keep it at that weight. If I do pretty well with the next set, I may consider chucking on a little bit of extra weight. But we'll see how we go. Okay, that's one done, three to go. Set number two, and yes, I did change my shirt. Got a new one from the desk. They got in some new pump covers. They've got the new red uh, mega pump cover, which is actually pretty sick. Really like this color. Wonder how it's gonna come up on the, the cam. I feel like it's gonna be quite poppy. Okay, let's do it, guys. Got the knee sleeves on just because it's a precautionary thing. There's no point me not wearing them if they're gonna help me not have gangly piece of shit knees after my session. Okay. Okay, that went actually really well. Just kind of like really focused and took my time on every single rep and went into a happy place. Okay, bit of a rest and then we knuckle down on number three. I upped it. Yes, just only added a 10. So we'll see how we go with that. Uh, I'm still gonna chase the 15 because I got the 15 last time and it wasn't, it wasn't impossible. Um, it's gonna be interesting. If I can get 12 with this, I'll be happy either way, but I really wanna still try push for 15. And then I might add another 10 and then only aim for 10 to 12, and that will be it. So still trying to push it, guys. You know, we're not here uh, to fuck around. We're here to try and make uh, a statement to the muscles to either grow or stay the hell where they are. And uh, this, this bloody leg needs to be, I don't know, it needs to start behaving itself. Let's do it. Okay, yep, oh, they kicked the shit out of me, and my knee's hating that, but, oh, got it, 15, went into the happy place, just watched the numbers tick over in my head. One more set, guys, got to get it done, I'm going to keep the weight where it is, and just aim for 12, because this knee is hating it. <laughs> Maybe I should stick to doing isolates first, before I do compounds, just to warm it up. Oh, okay. Set number four, can't be bothered doing this, but gotta do it. Um, the knee, I gave it a little bit of extra rest. It's actually not feeling too bad now. Did a bit of a leg check before. You guys can wait for that one. I'll do it once I, uh, my legs are a smidge more pumped, but um, not looking terrible. I'm actually feeling a little bit good about where things are at. Um, so we're gonna punch this one out. Last set of the pendulums, and then we're gonna move on to some isolates. So nothing to it, but to do it, let's do it.
Oh. Okay. Uh, so that one's done. Oh man, those feel like cardio. Okay. So, I really should be trying to chase 12s or even 8s now that I'm cutting. But got it done. Um, legs are feeling pretty good. Knees actually coped better with that one than I uh, thought it would. So I can say I've, I've done a substantial working few sets on the pendulum. Tick that off the list. Compound done, let's get these isolates going. Oh. Okay guys, let's jump straight on in. Uh, gonna be doing three working sets minimum of this bad boy. Um, so three working sets uh, at least. I may do a few more on the, uh, because to me, this is more of a quad-based uh, day because I did the pendulum squat. Uh, my second leg day of the week will be more stiff-legged deadlifts, which is more of a hamstring glute dominative day. So I'll sit there and I'll sit there and um, focus on that. So yeah, I'm doing the whole you know quads and calves and glutes and hamstrings split if you want to think of it almost. Though I'll do calves as much as I kind of can. I'm super slack with that one, guys. So feel free to. Tell me off or ask, did you train calves if I don't include it? Because I need people to tell me off for that one. Okay, but just please be gentle. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I really should have started with isolates first, guys, because you know that usual activation I have in the hamstring? Not really there, and that was probably what was causing the, uh, the pain in that knee. Okay, let's do this set. Okay, not too bad. Feels a little funky in there, but not too bad. I, uh, I think I might have to ask my remedial guy, Kev, to get stuck into my hamstrings as reluctant as I am because that shit hurts. But we'll see how we go. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I think it might be worthwhile me to do supersetting. So I'm gonna go do a superset because it's free on the leg extension. Hopefully the, uh, the quads aren't feeling too bad from doing the um, pendulums. So fingers crossed they're riding a bit of a wave there. So it's on, uh, I'll, I'll drop it down to 100 so I don't get a bit too carried away. Lock myself in. Try to make sure I use a bit of my muscle connection to activate these bad boys. Oh yeah, that is feeling that. Okay, let's see if I can still salvage this. Ah. Okay. Yeah, not bad. That actually was salvaged. I was pretty happy with that. It was the first two, three reps kind of sucked a little bit. And then I really tried to wriggle things around and activate things. It's not too bad. I'm actually probably due for me to roll out those quads like I did last time. I might do that next leg session, guys. Uh, come in a smidge early and get that one done. I might even film a little bit of it again if you guys want to see it. But, and put it in fast motion, obviously. Because that shit's so slow and long. Yeah, not terrible, guys. Not terrible. Let's jump back to those hammies. Let's go. So, yeah. I don't know. My head is completely empty right now. I think leg day can definitely get that happening for me. It's a bit of a day where I just kind of want to get to the other side of it. But you know, that's the thing is that a lot of the time, those days where you just want to get onto the other side, you do know they are your weakness most of the time. And if they're your weakness, you got to do them. Got to get done. Oh, I'll tell you what, I do like this pump cover. It's actually pretty sick. Okay, I'm going to up the weight. 140, let's do it. Hopefully that's locked in enough. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> ah, yes. 
Woo. That was a good one. Got it into a nice little nook with that hamstring. Okay. What is? Okay. Uh, let's go up a smidge. I've always been alright with 140. It's anything above 140 lately has been kicking my ass. So fingers crossed, that means that this set of 140 will be fine. And uh, set after it, we'll see how we go. I probably won't go past the 140. Listen to the body, maybe go 160, which is one more plate above. But that's about it. was better than before, surprisingly easy. Yeah, screw it. Let's go. Uh, man, that felt so good. Look, I'm gonna go for 180. Ah, uh, don't call me stupid, guys. <laughs> Going for it, let's go. Back to hamstrings, though. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> Round three. Uh. So I'm going to up it again. Uh, these aren't feeling too bad. I'm actually, actually they're both feeling pretty good, honestly. Which I was actually a bit surprised about because in all honesty, I thought we starting with the compound, it was going to set me up for disaster in a weird way. <sighs> okay, here we go. Nice and strong. Oh, oh yes. Whew, it's starting to get heavy. Oh boy. Okay. One more of that, but we're gonna do our second half of the superset. Leg extensions. Let's do it. Okay. 180. Let's see how we go with this. This is gonna be an interesting test. If this actually works, like feels good. I think we're starting to car like bounce back into action. I think it actually really base it like it's all based off how I start. If I start well, oh yeah, activate that hamstring and stretch that out. Oh, that's a funky feeling. Should have done this earlier. Um, yeah, it all bases itself off how, how this goes, really. Here we go. feeling awesome like yeah I'm noticing it sure but that's nothing I think I did that last time and it really sent some shit into that knee sick uh, stuff it let's try to break past the 200 points again let's do 220 that's where I'm gonna leave it that's gonna be my final set okay smash out hamstrings come back to this and wish me luck <sighs> working set four guys Okay. Mm. Yeah, look, we'll go a little bit strengthy. We'll do damn near the whole stack because these are feeling pretty good. Lock and loaded. Oh, yes. Optimal lock in. Okay. There we go, that feels good. Mm. Ooh, that's heavier. Ooh. 
starting to get a funky feeling in that hamstring, guys. Like a tear feeling. Hmm. You know what? I might need to be careful. I either just did a little tiny tear. Yeah, that might be a tiny tear. I'm gonna back off. I was getting incredible activation and everything. Man, that's ridiculous. I'm gonna back right off, hey. Right off, like I'm in like a third of the stack. And just go light. See how that feels, guys. Make sure that this leg, which is the undamaged leg, goes a bit harder. It might have just been a warning sign, you see, that's why. But in all honesty, guys, when you think you've torn something, just stop. Don't necessarily do what I'm doing now. I'm kind of just prodding to check what's going on. Because I tell you what, that felt incredible. I got activation in that hamstring that I've been wanting all session, but I think I might have got it a bit too late. And, uh, asked for it with too much of a heavy weight because those fibers probably weren't firing off properly and they're just coming into it going hey guys what's going on and they got a big punch to the face that's obviously not what we want to do to the fibers we're trying to uh wake the fuck up that's how you put them back to sleep and for a good amount of time okay i'm a bit worried you know what we'll call it there i've had some great stimulation i felt fantastic it's best to leave it because then what i'll do is i'll wait gauge if it's nothing big, if it's a tiny one as well, it will probably heal within a few days, uh, in all honesty, or maybe a week. Um, and I've got hamstrings next leg day, so I'm gonna leave that one there. I'll uh, keep an eye on it for a bruise. If it does bruise, then I know I've done a micro, like a bit of a notable tear. Grade one, probably, which I'm pretty sure is the lowest. If it is a grade one, I'll bounce back from that literally within a week. It's great. It's definitely not more than that. It was so small and I got to it real quick. It was this feeling of burning and a weird little like tear feeling. But again, it might have just been a strain feeling. You can hate me that burn strain feeling when things are going a bit like whoa, 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 whoa. But that definitely felt alarming to my brain. And your brain's pretty good. Your nervous system has some reflex like systems in it. So yeah, let's leave that one there. Let's go over to the uh, leg extension, smash that out and call it a session. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Not optimal, but it happens. It's, just, it's about how you deal with it, which really makes it, you know, it makes what it is. If you get onto it early and you don't exacerbate it and do stupid shit, it's actually not really a problem. Um, but if you push past it and you're a bit silly, yeah, no, no good, no good. So yeah, it's probably not a big deal, but always better to be safe than sorry. Okay. Leg extensions. So chances are, it was probably, maybe a micro, like a, oh, I can't say a micro, it was probably a light tear. Um, but that's the thing is that, again, it's how you deal with it that really matters. I, uh, I did a bit of a feeler using my other leg as a, a base and then let this kind of like feel around. If I felt any kind of light stingy twinge, I would have been like, whoa. I didn't, so look, there is a, it's a 50-50, there, there's a probably, a 50-50 chance that I've done a light tear or it was just a little strain pull kind of thing. Um, but it's best to listen to the body, not overdo it. If that was a tear, the interesting thing about it is that once you tear it a little bit, it has the ability to just go bang. As you'll see in a lot of our videos, especially with bench press, it's fucking gross. Uh, one of the biggest fears with me, because I bench heavy, so yeah. But I've actually tore this hamstring before, so you know, that's the thing is that this leg in general has its issues. That was from sprinting. So a different mechanism. But yeah, so uh, at the end of the day, I'm gonna leave it, I'll let it recover. I think I'll be fine to be able to do hamstrings if I leave it the fuck alone, basically. Uh, we'll see how we go. Either way, time to do the last set, last exercise of this superset. Go pretty heavy, I should be able to do that. Everything's firing off really nicely. Even, yep, even the hamstrings still wanting to support the quads. Let's do it.
Oh. Oh. Whew. Tell you what, I don't know if you could hear that. Oh. It was good until the last maybe two, three reps. And then that really started going into the uh, tendon. But it's more like a, feels like it's more of a lactic y kind of burn. Bit of both. It's sore, but I feel like that will go away within a minute or two. Uh, look, that's not bad. That is definitely not bad at all. Oh, that is sore though. Um, yeah, I was shaking like a bitch, that's for sure. But I managed to get 10. Two or three last ones are a bit air, but I got it. I'm actually pretty happy with that, guys. It's already started calming down. That's not too bad at all. Uh, the shaking was incredible. That was weird. That could also be because my brain is just like, be careful with the hamstring. That's actually a thing. The body, when it's guarding, it can do some wacky stuff, including causing your muscles to jitter and shake. Of like, oh, what are we doing? But that wasn't too bad. I felt it. I felt it good. Okay, guys, we're done. We are done. Okay, give me a sec. I'll uh, see you in just a moment. Ugh. That's where I'm sitting. Sorry for the extremely harsh light. Either way, guys, that's the end of my session. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that, even though it was, it's like a roller coaster. Good and then shit and good again, I don't know. Either way, you guys have a great one. We're verging up towards 30 days of gym vlogging, which is cool. Um, so yeah, thanks for duking it out if you've been sticking along through the journey, or if you're a newbie, welcome. Keep watching. Uh, either way, you guys, uh, you know, stay safe, stay well, stay swole. Oh, I chucked a W word in there. Stay swole, shredded, sweaty, and all of that super awesome stuff. Okay, uh, and most of all, stay tuned and squeeze the juice. See you guys. <laughs>